today <coughs> i am going to deliver lecture 17 right so or else lecture 17 on monotone convergence theorem by dr p ramlu head department of mathematics mbs government arts and science college mahunagar already we discussed yesterday about the monotone sequence and convergence of sequence now by using monotone convergence theorem i want to say that uh, we will find the convergence of the sequence this is other method right examination point of view this is very important theorem and also entrance type also it is very important so don't forget about this theorem right so for proving some theorems also some problems also we have used so this monotone convergence theorem we can call mct we can call mct right what is monotone convergence theorem what is monotone convergence theorem right all bounded monotone sequence are convergent all bounded monotone sequence are converges let s n be a sequence of real numbers let s n be a sequence of real numbers and increasing bounded type of sequence are convergent so here here I am taking first definition is all bounded monotone sequence are convergent. This other statement, or we may define other way. Let S be a sequence of real numbers, a, and increasing bounded apo sequence are convergent. And increasing bounded apo sequence are convergent. Or can take this statement as also S n is increasing bounded apo if I only lima of Sn equal to sup of Sn, so that n belongs to n. Sn is increasing bounded above, if I don't leave, lima Sn equal to sup Sn, so that n belongs to n. This is A statement, right? B statement, decreasing bounded below sequences are convergent. Decreasing, decreasing bounded below sequences are convergent. Sn is decreasing bounded below, if I don't leave, lima Sn is equal to infimum of uh, right? So what it says this, right? This theorem says that um, all bounded monotone sequences are convergent. This is a very simple statement, MCT. All bounded monotone sequences are convergent. That means uh, if it is bounded in monotone, if it is bounded and monotone, that sequence is convergent. Other statement also is say that uh, let us be any sequence. Right. Let uh, S N B A S N B A any sequence. So I'm writing S N B A any sequence. Right. Uh, S N B A any sequence. So. SNB any sequence and decreasing bounded apo sequence are convergent. Simple statement A is called that uh, it an increasing and increasing bounded apo sequence and increasing bounded apo sequence are convergent. The statement says that uh, other way here that an increasing sequence is convergent if I only if uh, lim s n equal to sup s n. That statement is very important, right? An increasing sequence s n is convergent if I only if uh, if I only if this is converges to lim s n is equal to supremum of s n such that n belongs to n. So this statement, right? What is mean by this statement? You have to understood that 
we know that an increase if Sn is increasing, Sn is increasing the sequence, the terms of sequence are increasing. Starting we have discussed about this is bounded below. An increase sequence is bounded below. We have lower bound. This is S1 is lower bound. Increasing. If it is bounded, so increase bounded above. An increase is bounded above that means it has uh, upper bound also. Right? Upper bound. This is upper bound for this sequence. So we say that then increasing bounded sequence is bound an increasing sequence is bounded above which is converges to this bounded above only that means supremum it is converges to supreme value right you can say other way also suppose i am taking my sequence structuring here increase that but it goes to like this if it is bounded above this is a lower bound this is infimum this is supremum right increase sequence is we know that already bound, bounded below this is i know if it is bounded above, the sen is uh, converges to sup Fsn. That is limit sen equal to sup Fsn. Other statement is uh, a decreasing sequence. Decreasing argument it is going that. We know that decreasing sequence is already we know that it is upper bound we have. That is uh, upper bound, right? So if it is bounded below, that means this is uh, info then it is converges to infimum that means other way you can take, define as uh, this is my uh, okay this is my sequence decreasing decreasing nothing but it goes to like this for this i know that supreme already yesterday with the proof that full and decreasing sequence is bounded above supreme we know it goes to some value right this value we can have as infimum Right, in form, SN. SN is it goes to infium, then if it is bounded below, then it has the infium, so it is converged to this value, right? So, decrease is converged to infium, increase it is converged to supreme. This thing you have to understand, right? So, this is very important. Now, I am going to prove this theorem, right. So I can explain and all bounded mono sequence are converges per statement or you can take that let Sn be a sequence of real numbers and increase in bounded above sequence are converges or Sn is increase bounded above if I have lim Sn equal supremum of Sn such that n plus 10. This one statement B. Decrease in bounded below sequence are convergent. Decrease in bounded below sequence are convergent. This statement is as or Sn is decreasing bounded below sequence if I only lim Sn is equal to influence, right? This thing already explained. Proof. I am taking let Sn be sequence. Let Sn be a sequence. Here I am going to prove two cases. Already just now we discussed. I want to take increase sequence. I want to show that e, e, increase sequence bounded to converges to supremum. I want to take the decrease sequence. I want to show that is decrease sequence converges to infimum. This thing I want to explain. A. Let uh, Sn be an increasing sequence. Let Sn be an increasing sequence. So I am taking that. Um, this part I am taking. Let Sn is converges. Let Sn is converges. Alright. So that means so we know that lim Sn equals supreme Sn, right? That means lim Sn equal to exists the supremum. That thing I know. I am taking that part. Lim Sn equal to supremum Sn. I am taking this part. If I only for a condition right here, a final condition. So that means you can still see here this condition. Lim Sn equal to super Sn. If I only this, I am taking this. Lim Sn equal to super of Sn. So that means that means Lim Sn is equal to supremum. That means Sn is converges to. I am taking this value. I want to show that Sn is bounded above. Sn is bounded above sequence. Right. So next, I want to take this bounded above sequence. I want to show that lim Sn equal to this. Similarly, here also same. I want to take this. I will show this. Next, I want to show this. I want to take this. Right. So first part, I am taking that uh, Sn is increasing. Let Sn be an increasing sequence. Uh, so let us so Sn be convergent. Already we have what 
all canonical sequences are bounded the theorem we know that which implies that it is bounded is bounded nothing but it has supremum infimum and it has lower bound upper bound that means sn is bounded over sequence right or okay, case so is sn be increase sequence it is bounded above i am showing that if sn is convergent i shown sn is increasing bounded above sequence so uh, this part is over right okay now if you feel that uh, sufficient condition is over necessary and sufficient condition or first of all sufficient condition over necessary part necessary part is very important right uh, this is only two step next i want to say that sn is bounded above sn is bounded above already know that sn is increase sequence right sn is increase sequence sn is bounded above why because uh, i know that is bounded bounded above nothing but sn is increasing increase that you already we know that lower bound it is bounded above that means sn is bounded which implies already know that so sn is bounded which means sn bounded above already sn is increasing that's why it is lower bound that person is bounded since sn is increasing sequence let sup sn is equal to i am taking you sup sn is equal to i am taking so super sn equal to i am assuming that super it is bounded at the but if it is bounded it has supremum infimum for that i am timing i am considering here supremum of sn is equal to u supremum of sn is equal to u which implies what happen sn is less than or equal to u for all n belonging to n sn is less than or equal to u for all n belonging to n let o super sn is equal to u let super sn is equal to u. we know the supreme essence that means that all elements of any uh, um, sequence are less than or equal to u only so if that is supreme let super sn equal to u which implies sn less than or equal to u for all n plus n just now already discussed it in sequences i written some note right Let epsilon greater than zero, sn is less than u. I will say less than u plus u for all n plus two. For epsilon greater than zero, we already know that sn u is less than u plus epsilon. Why? Because if I add some number to u, which is compulsory, which is less than u plus epsilon, right? u is less than u plus epsilon, right? I mean this is a, for a, why? Because I required proof the theorem, right? For that I am writing sn is less than u plus epsilon for all n plus two. Which implies S n is less than u plus epsilon for all n belongs to n. This is one. Okay, this first part is clear. Next to super n is equal to u. Let epsilon greater than zero. U minus epsilon is not a bounded upper bound of S n. Why? Because u minus epsilon is why? Because u is supremum. If I removing some term, if I remove some term, some some small value. immediately u minus epsilon is not upper bound of sn already we discussed when we are discussing about the supremum infimum of the sequence right that's why if u is supremum if i remove some element from u it immediately it is not a supremum so u is not u minus epsilon is not upper bound of sn which implies that means there exists an epsilon jet such that U minus small u minus epsilon is less than S M. Why? Because there exists one term in the sequence. There exists one term in the sequence. The term is greater than u minus epsilon. That means u minus is less than epsilon. U minus epsilon is less than epsilon. So quickly, I am explaining. Uh, explain why. here sn is so suppose uh, bounded right or the sequence of terms are it, it is going like increasing this is s1 s2 dash uh, s2 dash 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 this is an i'm taking okay some number this is a uh, i'm calling this is supremum not sn it's super sn right 
soup you you nothing but soup so this is if it is understood this point oh, it is okay right soup is there at least this is is there right if i add oh, if i remove epsilon if i take let epsilon greater than 0 let epsilon be 0 u minus epsilon u minus epsilon that u minus epsilon comes here maybe right u minus epsilon take this is smallest value i'm taking this is u minus epsilon right u minus epsilon is not upper bound of sn right why because these are th these are sequence terms okay this is lower boss in form this is supremum u minus epsilon here u minus epsilon is not upper bound of epsilon that means there exist to a term there exist to m belonging to z plus such that this is sn i know this is sn i know i am taking that there exists one term the, the, uh, i am talking this term there exists one term here this is term is sn this term is sn such that u minus epsilon is less than sm u minus epsilon is less than sm right so this thing we have to draw similarly we will explain as for other case also this thing right u minus epsilon that means there exists one term which is less than u minus epsilon right so uh, here i use that same condition u minus epsilon is not upper bound of sn there is there exists epsilon j plus such that u minus epsilon is less than sm this is true let sn is increase sequence which implies what happened sm is less than sn for n greater than this definition sn is increasing uh, SM is less than SN for N greater than M. This is the definition. Similar here, SN is less than SN plus 1. In place of N, what we have for all N plus 1 here, N plus 1 in N we have. N, in place of N, what we have M. SM is less than SN for all N greater than M. Which implies U minus epsilon is less than SM is less than SN for all N greater than M from 2. Right? Which implies here, we know that U minus epsilon is less than sm is less than sn for all n plus 2 why because uh, from 2 here we have u minus epsilon is less than sm is less than sn for all n greater than m u minus epsilon is less than sn for all n greater than m. this is 3 from 1 and 3 1 has that u minus epsilon is less than sn is less than u plus epsilon for all n greater than m. for all n greater than n which nothing but mod sn minus less than epsilon for n greater than m this is nothing but mod sn minus u is less than epsilon for n greater than m which implies for every epsilon greater than 0 they exist to m belong z place such that mod sn minus u is less than epsilon for all n greater than m which nothing but lim sn is equal to which nothing but lim sn is equal to u which implies Lim S n is equal to sup S n such that sup S n such that n plus n. This is you I am holding supreme right. Therefore, S n is convergent. An increasing bounded sequence is convergent. So an increasing bounded sequence I am taking which converges, which is converges a supreme of S n only. So this is case A has proved case B. Let us mention that S n is decreasing sequence. S n is decreasing sequence. Same, the first part uh, already we take that. This I am taking this part. Let S n is convergent. S n is convergent. That means it convergent to supremum. I think infimum here bounded decreasing right? Bounded plus right? I want to show that it is bounded below sequence. Bounded below sequence or bounded what it may be. We know that all convergent sequences are bounded, that person is bounded. If SN is bounded, SN is bounded below sequence. SN is bounded below sequence. Okay. But this part, SN is bounded below. I am taking that. 
this part SN is bounded below second side. SN is bounded below. I want to make that SN is convergent to infinity. Same proof here we use some differently. SN is bounded and SN is decrease the sequence. It is bounded nothing but it has infimum and supremum that I am calling infsn equal to small v. Infsn equal to v. That means all the terms of sequence are greater than equal to v for all n belongs to v or v is less than equal to sn for all n belongs to n. This is definition of infimum. Let I am taking epsilon greater than 0. v minus epsilon is less than v is less than sn for all n belongs to n. Why? Because here v minus epsilon is less than v is less than sn by because if i remove from term from v v minus epsilon is always less than v which is already that sn is then which nothing but v minus epsilon is less than sn for n greater equal to n belongs to n this time falling for infinite equal to v infinite equal to v nothing but v is the uh, greatest lower bound v is the greatest lower if you add some term for epsilon greater than 0 v plus epsilon is not v plus epsilon is not and lower bound of sn why because similarly last case only there exist to m belonging to z plus such that there exist to m belonging to z plus such that sn is less than v plus epsilon sn is less than v plus epsilon okay so why because this is infimum this is the greatest to lower bound if i add something that means so okay can quickly i will explain here so for this is my sequence the terms of sequence are this this is uh, info this is supremum this is decrease sequence that's why it has infimum and the infimum taking this is so v is equal to this infimum v is equal to infimum v is equal to infimum nothing but if i add epsilon to the v epsilon to v that means so this is v plus epsilon this is v plus epsilon this is not uh, lower bound of the sequence this is not lower bound of the sequence or terms or lies between here why because n is bounded the terms of sequence are lies between here v plus n is not lower bound of sn why because there exist to one term okay there exist to m belonging to z plus such that uh, here sm i am taking this sm is uh, less than v plus epsilon that means uh, that's why v plus epsilon is not lower bound there is a term of sequence sn which is less than v plus epsilon right so Let epsilon greater zero, v plus epsilon not lower bound of sn, which implies there exist m plus j plus such that sn is less than v plus epsilon. Sm, sm here, sm is less than v plus epsilon. This is sm, right? Let sn is decrease sequence, which implies what we do addition. Sn is less than sm. Sn is less than sm for n greater than m. Sn is less than sm for n greater than m. Decrease sequence. That means so. The terms of sequence are decreasing, which implies what happened? Sn is less than Sm is less than v plus epsilon. So this is going to take five. Already we know that Sn is Sm Sm is less than v plus epsilon. Already we know. So from this v plus epsilon for n greater than n, which implies we can write that Sn is less than Sn is less than v plus epsilon for n greater than M. This is six. I'm calling this is six equation. From four and six, four is uh, defined as v minus epsilon is less than sn. So from four and six, v minus epsilon is less than sn. From five, six of so v plus epsilon for n greater than m. Which nothing but 
S n minus V is less than epsilon for n greater than. So V minus epsilon is less than right, uh, which implies what can I write here? For every epsilon greater than zero, there exists m plus n place such that mod S n minus V is less than epsilon for n greater than n. This is nothing but our definition. Lim S n is equal to V. V nothing but Lim S n equal to m for S n such that n plus n. Therefore, S n is convergent. Hence, prove the theorem. That means all bounded sequences are convergent. To just now I proved that uh, all bounded sequences are convergent. Case A I am taking increase sequence. Case B I am taking decrease sequence. Why? Because monotonous sequence is but increasing or decreasing. Either increasing or decreasing. That's why I am taking. I am proved two cases. I am taking increase sequence. Proved it is bound, bounded and convergent. And degree sequence, if I take bounded, it is convergent, right? All bounded motor sequence are convergent. We have proved the theorem. So, this thing for the theorem. Next problem. Show that 3n minus 1 by n plus 2 is increasing and bounded above. Show that 3n minus 1 by n plus 2 is increasing and bounded above. Given Sn is equal to 3n minus 1 by n plus 2. Sn is equal to 3n minus 1 by n plus 2. I am taking Sn equal to Sn plus 1. In place of n, I am substituting here, here we have n plus 1. In place of n, I am substituting n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 plus 2. 3n plus 3 minus 1 equal 3n plus 2 n plus 1 plus 2 equal to n plus 3. What am I doing here? Sn minus Sn plus 1. Sn nothing but 3n minus 1 by Sn plus 2. Sn plus nothing but 3n plus 2 by n plus 3. I will cross multiply. 3n minus 1 into n plus 3. 3n plus 2 into n plus 2. Here what I n plus 2 into n plus 3. n plus 2 into n plus 3. If I simplify this, 3 into n, 3n square, 3 into uh, 3 equal 9n minus n equal to plus 8n, 1 into 3 equal to minus 3, 3n square plus 8n minus 3. Here, 3n into n, 3n square, 3n into 2, how much here, 6n plus 2n, 8n, uh, 2 into 2 equal to minus plus 4. So, 3n square, 3 cancel out, 8n, 8 cancel out. Minus 3 minus 4 equal to minus 7. Sn minus Sn plus 1 is less than minus 7 by n plus 2. If I substitute any value here in place of n, here we have negative sign which is less than 0 only. Which is already less than 0. That means so, Sn minus Sn plus 1 is less than 0 for n belonging to n, which implies Sn is less than Sn plus 1 for n belonging to n. Therefore, with the definition is what is it that Sn is an increase sequence. So, therefore, Sn is an increasing sequence. Sn equal to 3n minus 1 by n plus 2. Okay. Increasing, I show that. If it is increasing, we know that it has lower bound. An increase sequence is has slower bound. That thing I know. I find for showing that. Uh, Bounded above, if it is bounded above, it is convergent. That means so, it is monotonous sequence. I want to show this is bounded. We want to show that it is converges to bounded above sequence, right? It is supremum. S n equal to 3 n minus 1 by n plus 2. I am simplifying this is 3 n plus 2 minus 1. If I, nothing will happen here, 3 n plus 6 minus 7 equal to this 3 n minus 1 only n plus 2 n plus cancel out s n equal to 3 minus 7 by 2 so if i am removing some term from t which is less than 3 only for n plus 2 n s n equal to 3 minus 7 by n plus 2 is less than 3 for n plus 2 n which means uh, s n is less than 3 for n belonging to n s n is less than 3 for n plus 2 n therefore s n is Bounded above sequence. Sn is less than 3 for all n plus 1. Sn is bounded above 
seconds. Here, one term I uh, missed here. Sn is bounded, increase nothing but S1 is bounded. S1 nothing but what is S1? Option S1 equal to here 1. What happened here? 3 minus 1 by 3. That equal 2 by 3. S1 equal to 3. That means 3 less than Sn less than 3. Sn is bounded above. Already other thing you can think that oh, an increasing bounded above sequence convergence. An increasing bounded above sequence is convergent. An increasing sequence which is bounded above it is convergent by MCT. Sn is converges to supremum. This is supremum. Right? Converges to 3 only. Other problem. Show that 2 minus 1 by 2 power of n minus 1. 2 minus 1 by 2 power of n minus 1 is convergent. Sn equal to how much here? 2 minus 1 by 2 power of n minus 1. Sn plus 1 equal to 2 minus 1 by 2 power of n. Let n minus 1 is less than n. So I want to show that as I, as I want checking that whether this is increasing or decreasing. Just I want to apply here. Let o, n minus 1 is less than n for all n minus 10. 2 power of n minus is less than 2 power of n for all n minus 10. 2 power of n minus 1 is greater than 1 by 2 power n for all n minus 10. That will be for s plus this. By multiply will minus so will minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1 is less than minus 1 by 2 power n for all n minus 10. I am adding 2 by 1 by 2 power n minus 1 is less than 2 power 1 by this is nothing but Sn. This is nothing but Sn plus 1 for all n minus 10. Therefore, Sn is so Sn is increasing sequence, not convergent. Sn is increasing sequence. Sn is less than Sn plus 1 for all n minus 1, which implies Sn is increasing sequence. Let Sn equal to 2 minus 2 by 1 by 2 for n minus 1 is less than 2, right? Why? Because all the terms of the sequence is less than 2 for all n minus 1. I mean, I am I'm removing this term from 2. That means it is less than 2 for all n minus 1. Sn is less than 2 for n belongs to m. So, Sn is bounded above. That is, is increasing, it is bounded above. And increasing bounded above sequence is convergent by MCT. Sn is convergent. Converges to supremum. That is Sn limit Sn equal to. Show that Sn is convergent to supremum. Show that Sn equal to this is convergent to supremum. This problem already we solved in last lecture. I am here solving other method, right? Sn equal to that, uh, Sn plus 1 equal to what happened? Sn plus 1 equal to 1 plus 1 by 1 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 3, 1 by n into n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 into n plus 2. The one term we have extra. Sn minus Sn plus 1 equal to Sn minus Sn plus 1 equal to this Sn minus Sn plus 1 equal to this which implies Sn minus Sn plus 1 that equal to minus 1 by n plus 1 by n plus 2 we have minus this is less than 0 why because this is less, for all n plus 10 Sn is less than Sn plus 1 is less than 0 for n plus 10 this implies Sn less than Sn plus 1 for all n plus 10 therefore Sn is increasing sequence Sn is an increasing sequence next I want to show it is bounded above then it is bounded convergent Sn equal to what is this 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 1 into 2 plus the area 1 into n by into n plus 1 that equal to 1 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1 minus the area 1 by n into 1 by n plus 1. So, which nothing but uh, 2 minus 1 by n plus 1. See, 1 by 2, 1 by 2 get cancelled out, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 get cancelled out, 1 by n, last one 1 by n 1 is cancelled out. The last one we will get here 1 by n into n plus 1, n plus 1 only, 1 by n plus 1. 1 plus 1 equal to minus 1 by n plus 1, that equal to we have here. Okay. Sn equal to what here? 2 minus 1 by n plus 1. If I remove this term from 2, that means which is less than 2 for n belongs to n. Sn is less than 2 for n belongs to n. Therefore, Sn is bounded above. It is increasing and bounded above by MCT. Sn is convergent, convergent to supremum. That will be equal to. Okay. 
so that Sn is convergent type. Usually, in general method, for finding convergence is very difficult. This kind of problems for finding convergence is very difficult. That's why by using MCT, it is easy to solve for this kind of problems. Sn equal to how much? 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 2 plus the address 1 by n plus 1 is converges. Sn equal to how much here? 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 2 the address plus 1 by n plus 1. Okay. Sn plus 1 equal to this. 1 by n plus 2 n plus 3 address. So, 1 by 2 4 n minus 2. 2 power n up to this term. 1 by 2 by n plus 1 2 n plus 2. This is uh, Sn plus 1. Consider Sn minus Sn plus 1. Sn nothing but this. Sn plus 1 with this. So, this minus this is equal to how much here? 1 by n plus 1 minus 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 1 plus 2 n. This minus this, right? By cross multiply, 1 by 2 into 2n plus 1 minus so, um, here, so, okay. Here you can write 2 into n plus 1 that is equal to extra term we have 2 into 2n plus 1 minus here we have written as 2 times of n plus 2. Here I am written as 2n plus 1. If I LCM do, use this here. If I multiply this 4n plus 2 minus 2n minus 2 minus 2n minus 1 4n 4n will cancel out 2 2 cancel out minus 1 minus 1 times 2n plus 1 2n plus 2 which is less than 0 for n plus 2n here minus we have that if I any first any value here is less than 0 that means sn is less than sn plus 1 for all n belongs to m therefore sn is increasing sn is monotone Considering and considering mod Sn equal to 1 by n plus 1 divided by So, this thing is 1 by n plus 1, 1 by n, which is less than 1 by n, 1 by n, 1 by n. Why? Because 1 by n is less than 1 by n, 1 by n plus 1 is less than 1 by n, 1 by n plus less than 1 by n. That's all the terms are less than this. How many terms we have here? n terms n by n that equal to 1 so mod s is with then 1 for all n plus 1 s n is bounded mod s n is bound by mcd s n is convergent why because all bounded monotone case converge s n is bounded and is monotone therefore by mcd it is convergent show that solve problems you can do your own show that 3n plus 4 by 2n plus 1 is convergent to sixth problem uh, lim of a n is equal to lim of a n 4 n equal to 0 1 infinite 0 if mod a less than 1 1 if a is less than 1 infinite if a greater than 1 does not exist a less than or equal to minus 1 so this is the exam point of it is very important show that let p greater than 0 lim of a n to infinity a n power of uh, n power p is equal to 0 if mod a less than 1 to 1, infinite, if a greater than 1, does not exist if a less than 1. Verify 1 plus a, a square data as a power n is equal to 1 by a power n plus 1 by 1 by 1 minus a for a not equal to 1. We find lima 1 plus a data as a power n equal to for mod a less than 1. Find this value for mod a less than Calculate to lim of n and infinity 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by n plus 1 by 2 power n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 by um, 3 square 3 cube 3 3 3 square 3 cube radius 3 power of 7 I think this is uh, right mm. we will see that value um, 3 power of n. I think this is okay. Calculate 1 plus a for a greater than equal to 1. So, this sign, this problem is already discussed in the other way. So, now I am also discussing. Lima n equal to 0. First one, what you have to show that uh, this thing I am showing. This is already already explained. You can show your I want to show this. Thing. 
leaving n to infinity a power n equal to 0 if mod a less than 1. Okay. a n equal to r to I am um, considering mod a less than 1. I am considering mod a n power minus 0 is equal to mod a n mod a power n. Mod a equal to I am taking 1 by 1 plus h. Mod a equal to I am taking 1 by 1 plus h. Mod a power n equal to what happened? <coughs> mod a power of n is equal to 1 by 1 plus h whole power of n. 1 by a whole power n equal to 1 by 1 plus h whole power of n. That equal to 1 by 1 plus n. This is by the binomial expansion. 1 by n h plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial h square plus z s h power of n. This term is less than 1 by n h 1 plus n h is less than 1 by n h. This term is less than always all these are extra term which is less than equal to n h. Mod a over n is equal to less than equal to n h. Mod n h by is less than epsilon. n h greater than 1 by epsilon. m equal to taken as um, integral part of 1 by h epsilon. So, this problem already solved in different way. I am quickly explaining here. For all epsilon is the reduced ambulance, so m equal to integral part of 1 by n h epsilon belongs to such that mod a n over 0 is the epsilon for n equal to m. If a equal to 1, a power 1 equal to a power 1 power n, that equal to 1, lim 1 equal to 1, lim 1 equal to 1, a n is conjugate to 1. Case 3, if a greater than 1, a greater than 1, lim of a n greater than lim of a power infinite, that equal to infinite, a n is not conjugate. Case 4, minus a less than a less than equal to minus 1 a less than equal to minus 1 if a is equal to minus 1 a power n equal to minus 1 power of n so a power n equal to minus 1 power of n this is already we discussed before this is not convergence sequence this is not convergence sequence if a less than minus 1 a equal to minus s ok if a equal to minus s, minus s is less than 1, minus 1, s is greater than 1. Let lim s n equal to s power n, that equal to infinite. a n equal to minus s power n, that equal to minus 1 over power n s n. Lim n equal to minus 1 over power n s n. Therefore, n a is not going to exist if a less than equal to minus 1. Right? If a is less than minus 1, we show that a n is not convergence. So these things are already discussed from problem 1. So quickly can take 3m plus 4 by 2m plus 1, sn equal to this, sn plus 1 is this, sn minus sn plus 1 equal to, you can do that, uh, 3m plus 4 by 2m plus 1 minus 3m plus 7 by, if I cross multiply, you will get that 3m plus 4 into 2m plus 3, minus 3m plus 7 into 2m plus 1 by 2m plus 1 into 2m plus 3. If I multiply this, 6m square plus 17 plus 12 minus 6 n square plus 17 plus 7. If I multiply these two terms, 2 n plus 2, if I 6 n square 17 cancel out, 12 minus 7 equal to 5, this is greater than 0. So, S n is greater than S n plus 1 for an induction. S n is greater than S n plus 1. Therefore, S n is decreased sequence. S n is decreased sequence. S n equal to 3 n plus 4 by 2 n plus 1. Uh, can do what you do. Okay, that's the decrease. That means SN is monotone. Okay, I want to show this bounded below. That that's why I am doing here 3 by 2 root 2 n plus 1 plus 4 by 2. I am doing my change this 2 to get 3 n plus 3 by 2 plus 4 by 2 equal to uh, mm -hmm. okay. If we simplify this, so uh, there nothing will be get same uh, if I simplify this same will get so that's why I am writing here 3 plus 2 uh, sn is decreasing oh, I want to re-modify this term okay uh, oh, oh, what can I write here uh, oh, can write 3 by 2 into 2n plus 1 plus some term what if how much here 3 by 2 by 3, uh, if I write here this, so 2 to get cancel out, so 2 to get cancel out, mm, 3n will get, plus, so here we get uh, 
3 plus so 2 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 that equal to 3 by 2 that is 3 by 2 I want to get here 4 3 by 2 plus um, 5 by 2 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 uh, 2n plus 1 this is both are cancel out this is 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 by 2 times of this thing right so this term is so greater than already like we asked 3 by 2 plus 4 times of this term this term is greater than or equal to 3 by 2 therefore here from this we get that sn is greater than 3 by 2 sn is greater than equal to 3 by 2 it is a decrease amount on it has bounded above so it is so bounded that means so it is converges to bounded below zero. That means so this all terms of the equation is greater than or equal to 3 by 2. It has supremum that is 1, they equal 3 plus 4 by 3, that equal how much you have 7, 1 point something else. So 7, right? 7 by 3 equal to 2 point something. So upper bound we know, lower bound 3 by 2. So it is decreasing, it decreases, uh, converges to lower bound. So the sequence is uh, converging to lower bound so, right this is the these are the problems so, let uh, i am like discussing let me uh, limit of intent infinity a power n by n power p that equal to this a power n by n power p uh, i want to show this mod if mod a is greater than equal to 1 mod a n power n is greater than equal to 1 n is bounded so lim of 1 by n power p is equal to 0 it is bounded this is 0 therefore this is equal to 0 in this case okay Case 2, if a greater than 1, a greater than 1, lim a n equal to infinite. So, this case is over. Third one, a less than minus 1, a power my, uh, less than minus 1 power, lim a n does not exist. Too. So, a n power n power is also not exist. Other thing, 1 plus a plus a square plus a dash a power n equal to 1 by a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a for a not equal to 1. If n equal to 1, what happened? 1 plus a, that equal to 1 minus a power 1 plus 1, that equal to 1, that equal to 1, 1 plus a, both are same. It is true for n equal to 1. Okay. If it is true for n equal to k, then what happened? 1 plus a plus a for k dash a for k equal to 1 by a power k plus 1 by 1 minus a. Let us consider that 1 plus a plus a power k plus a power k plus, I am adding both are a power k plus 1. If I simplify this, okay. 1 by a plus k power plus y 1 minus a 1 a power k plus 1 if i multiply cross multiply 1 by a power a k plus 1 plus 1 into 1 minus a into a power of k plus 1 here what happened 1 minus a power k plus 1 a power k plus 1 into 1 that is a power k plus 1 a power k plus 2 a power k into a power k plus 1 a power k plus 2 a power k plus 1 k we cancel out 1 by a power k plus 1 by 1 by k plus 2 by that means k plus 1 plus 1 we have we have 1 plus a plus a square plus a power k plus 1 equal to 1 minus a a power k plus 1 plus 1 by 1 minus a that is true for n equal to k plus 1 by induction it is true for all n plus n so 1 plus a plus a square divided as a power n equal to 1 minus a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a for n a not equal to 1 other thing B lim of uh, find where to find this value and then infinity 1 plus a plus a square plus that is a power n equal for mod a less than 1. So this thing you know that 1 by a power n plus 1 if mod a less than 1. 1 minus a is equal if I apply limit of this so 1 minus 1 by a this is equal to 0 if mod a less than 1 this is equal to 1 by a this value is equal to 1 by 1 minus a mod a less than 1. That means lim of enter infinity 1 plus a that has so a power n equal to is 1 minus 1 by a. Problem find lim of n into 1 by 3, 1 plus 3, 1 by 9, 1 by 27 equal to 3 power of n. This is in the form of only 1 by a equal to 1 by 1 minus a, a equal to 1 by 3. I am substituting 1 by 1 minus a, that equal to 1 minus a equal to nothing but 3 by 2, that equal to here we will get that 3 minus 1 equal to 2 by 3, it goes 3 by 2, that value is 3 by 2. Lim of n into infinity 1 plus a plus a square a plus a power n equal to 2 for, we are to find for a more greater than 1. If a equal 1, the value is infinite. It is in the form n plus 1, that equal to infinite. If a greater than lim of a greater than lim of a power n equal to infinite. This is a power n plus 1. If I apply limit, this will be infinite. Infinite minus something will go to infinite. Therefore, this is uh, 
one lim of n to infinity one plus f power to s infinite if you are there, right? So that means sum of n terms of the geometric progress is uh, a plus a r plus a r square plus a r dash a power a into r power n minus one that equal to a into one minus r power n by one minus r if r is less than one or a into r power n minus y r minus one if r is greater than one. Okay, sum of n plus r we can write as a plus a r plus a r square plus a r power n minus one that equal to a into one minus r power n plus one by one minus r if r less than one. A into R power n plus one minus one minus one by R minus one if R is greater than one. If A is equal to one, the series is written as so one plus R plus R square n minus R power n or equal to one minus R power n plus one by R minus R if R is greater than one. R power n plus one by minus one by R minus one if R is greater than one. So this is the about the monotone Carnot theorem. So next class we have to prove some other problems by using MCQ only. So thank you thank you for watching this lecture thank you one and all